uh, artists, video photographers that y'all can take uh, note to that shit. Mm-hmm. Um, now, <clears throat> so you went to high school all up north. Uh, half in CI. I was uh up in tenth grade. I was on CI high. That's when niggas was ruthless out there. I'm done seeing niggas get cut with a machete on their back and fucking right in the fucking bus. Like, <laughs> front bus parking lot, like, where niggas is just catching the bus, you know? You're yeah. a fucking high school kid. You ain't expecting to see that shit. Yeah. But, you know, there's a whole bunch of nonsense going on over there. MS-13, Bloods, Crib, all types of fucking nonsense. Right. So, at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? You in the world where you trying to get education, but you around all this bad environment, and then it's like, what you expect motherfuckers to be at the end, you feel me? Yeah, G like, shit, nah. Now you call you called it right out, and they expect for you to pretty much ignore all that and fight through it, like like that shit. Like you're not gonna be, you know, absorb what you around. Like exactly, like you're not gonna be influenced by a lot of shit, and then you know, niggas start to realize, shit, is this shit all worth it <laughs> at the end? Like niggas got broke eventually. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Mm-hmm. Um, so. Let's get into the drunken mixtape. That oh, shit is that. yeah, that shit is lit. <laughs> bye bye D bum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shout out to Granny on that one. Granny passed away two years ago. OG, she uh, was like ninety nine, and um, she passed away because her sister was ninety seven, and she 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 passed away like like what three days before OG passed. Yeah. And um, OG was just, you know, that sadness, you know what I'm saying? Yep. She didn't eat, she didn't, you know what I'm saying? And when you that old, you got to eat every day. Don't eat every day, that's it. Yeah. So, yeah, I was, shout out to Granny, but yeah, I was fucking drunk that whole fucking mixtape. That whole mixtape, I was drunk as a motherfucker. Freestyled every fucking thing. Kodak yeah. Flow, wait, my bad, not to cut you short. That and mm-hmm. Kodak Flow, those are those my two favorite songs on there. And that's the crazy part, I was just going to mention that shit. I was like, uh... Uh, when I was doing the drunken mixtape, everybody was asking for an extra track. There was like six is too light. Do at least seven, eight. And that comes right. At my, not to cut you short. That comes right after the outro too. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So I added that extra one. So shout out to Kodak on that one. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Yak. Yeah. You know what I mean? That uh, that Florida vibe. Yeah. I wanted to bring that New York kind of sense to that Florida vibe. And you niggas nailed that like, shit. Yeah, yeah you nailed that shit. Cause you can hear the lyrics nice, and then you got that that whole. Back in that 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 Florida, that bop. bop. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, cause remember I was saying when we was at that perform, uh, like man, perform that Kodak, that uh, that Kodak flow. Facts. That shit, that shit is hard as fuck. Exactly, and people fucking with it heavy. Stupid oh, yeah. heavy. How long did t- how long it took you to uh uh drop that tape? Cause I know you dropped that like what like two years ago, a year ago. Yeah, I say what, what was it? Uh, I think it was before COVID, so like two thousand. 19, 18. 19. 19, probably, yeah, I think so. One of those two. So, and it's 2021 now, so about two years, in about two years, I dropped some shit. But that's all because of the whole, I want to start getting shit right before I put shit out type shit, you know what I'm saying? Get shit mastered, get shit put together into pieces before people be like, oh, I can't play this in the club because the, the volume's fucked up, you know what I'm saying? If you, Absolutely. If you're trying to do something, you got to do it right. You can't Absolutely. half nitpick it. You know what I'm saying? You got to do it super right. You know what I'm saying? So if you're going to put out a track and you're going to put it on your mixtape, make sure everything's mastered and then put it out because the sound's going to be so much better and everybody's going to be fucking with it 10 times more. Correct. So. Niggas are going to know the difference. Niggas might not, and I forgot who said that. Um, niggas might not know the correct terms for it. Like, hey, bro, the decibels ain't right. But if you play it in the club and that bitch is... You get what I'm saying? Like you just said, the vo- your voice is too low or too high. Mm-hmm. It might be a great song, but niggas can't really fuck with it because yeah. it ain't the quality that they need. Mm-hmm. And if it ain't up to that quality or that standard, they ain't playing it. Nope. No matter how popping it is, they ain't playing it. They playing Island Boys because that shit is massive. <laughs> <laughs> <Deep shit. laughs> like you could have the most popping shit in the world, but if it ain't mastered, then nobody gonna give a fuck. So, hey man, where the fuck is all your music? Because <laughs> that's what the fuck I've been trying to figure out. It's all 
in the email. Yeah, yeah. that is true, because you just be playing shit just out of the blue, but I'm just saying, like, like, and I'm not even, <laughs> like, going off of the questions, like, I know you've recorded over 100 songs, mm -hmm. like, I know that, but it's like, I can't go to Apple right now and find 100 songs. Nope, you could only find about, like, 30. And, yeah, I mean, you really got to search, because a lot of niggas got that name Nino now, Yeah, and you know what I mean, like... Yeah. You gotta search. Don't worry. A lot of shit gonna pop off in about the next two months, 2022. A lot of shit gonna pop off. It's all about having the right team behind you. Because just like the performance, we came up, the, up in there deep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then Pomo was like, right, I see how you rocking now. Before you were solo dolo, you only came with two people with da da da. Now you came with like eight, nine motherfuckers. You got, you got like four girls that come in. You got your dude that performed before you. You got everybody here getting everything situated. So now you're looking more professional. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you're independent. You're not doing this shit like with a label behind you. You're doing this shit independently. And look how you rock it. Right. You know what I'm saying? You got your supporters. Now you just got to fall in place. Because Nino can't do it all. I can't come through with bitches, have a hype, beat a hype band, have, some, have myself record a video. And all of that, that all that shit nah it takes a whole crew and it takes support you know what I'm saying so nah, it could, not to cut you short let me piggyback off that cause I got a short term memory but it's facts ahead. like it's something that's like this like yo you're gonna make your first stack by yourself facts. you're gonna make your first hundred thousand just being disciplined but facts. your first million you're gonna make that shit with a team exactly and any and every fucking thing it doesn't matter what it is it goes through a fucking um, some type of process of where it touches multiple hands whether it be your iPhone you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Uh, whether it be a car, bitch, whether it be a game system, mm -hmm. whether it be us being on Instagram or even just recording on this shit right now. It wasn't just one person put all this shit together. It was some type of assembly or a team. So, right. You know what I'm saying? Especially. I agree with that 100%. You got to be a team because without a team, you're not going to go in motion. Yep. It's like basketball, football, everything's a whole team. Brady. Brady can't be great without the offensive line protecting him. It's the team. Fucking basketball. Jordan can't be great without Pippen and Rodman. Right. You know so then take a team and take that one guy, that leader, to move the whole team. But you know what I'm saying? They take the team behind him to keep him pushing. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? That's solid. And that's that's how you get to the millions. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody's mind is different. Everybody gonna look at something different, and then you put all the pieces together. Yeah. And you make millions. Yep. Yep. So yep. You guys could be like you could have like the brokest niggas in the world come up with the fucking most brilliant idea and if they work together and put all their pieces together they'll make that shit happen and then they're on top yeah you know what I'm saying yeah like like fucking Fetty Wap and they go sleep on the couch got a team together now he's on top before but now he's done you know what I'm saying so nah I dig it I dig it um so you've been in the game for what like 10 years 10 years, yeah. So, from creating your own dance, Diddy Wop, and mm -hmm. damn near re remixing every hot, every hot track, mm -hmm. do you feel like your time is soon? Oh, yeah. I always watch videos, and it's like, it take 10 years to master your craft. You know what I'm saying? So, between the whole start to now, I even listened to my dad. He was just like, from the start, he was like, yo, imagine how you'll be years from now if you starting off this nice imagine how you're gonna be years from now you're gonna be great you're gonna, you're gonna master that crap and I always kept that in mind and then i watch videos meek he said i was rapping since 14 and it took me till i was 23 to actually see some money that's 12 years you know what i'm saying so it take like you said 14 uh, to 23 uh not hit 13 12 to 23 whatever the fuck he said mm -hmm. but it was 12 years okay. general, generally that's what <laughs> okay. the fuck he said it took gotcha. him in order to make it you know what I'm saying right 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 so it took him over 10 years to master the craft and you know what I'm saying do what the fuck he had to do learn the game or whatever the case may be and that's why I watch with a lot of niggas even 50 even fucking Jay-Z fucking Pac a lot of niggas it take 10 years to master your craft to know what the fuck you're doing if, if this is for you if this is what you want to do right you know what I'm saying it's not no play play you're not just gonna jump in the game like Island Boy and, <laughs> and fucking and fucking think that you're going somewhere right. it don't happen like that you have to be dedicated you gotta learn you gotta study and you gotta do this and this gotta be something that you wanna do not something that you wake up and say fuck it 
going to work, I'm tired. Uh, yeah, that ain't going to cut it. Yeah, it's not going to cut it. You got to progressively work towards your fucking craft. And that's what I see that it takes these years to learn what to do. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I, all these pieces I think God put together for me to learn within these 10 years. Like, yeah, contract got to be signed. Read, read throughout all these fucking shits before you get con for your money. Right. Because the music game is a game. It's a hustle. Everything is a hustle. Everybody's trying to get over. Everybody's trying to get their money. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So you could have a nigga come to you and you thinking you hitting up a manager for 10K and it's some kind of scam shit. Yeah. And it's not even the fucking manager. Crazy. Because you can't even reach the manager like that. You know what I'm saying? You got to actually go to call on the website or you know what I'm saying some shit that's legit you know what I'm saying and get through there and, and, and actually contact the manager or meet them face to face when they doing a meet and greet you know what I'm saying that's how you get that contact but you you know what I'm saying you got some finesses online that's what's gonna scam you and you you gotta you gotta learn you gotta master it in 10 years you know what the fuck you're doing you know what not to do and boom go for it solid that's, that's what yeah, I they feel like it's coming already yeah cause what is it like 10,000 hours before you like you're pretty much saying master mm-hmm. something, so that's that's what it is right there already. Mm-hmm. Now, um, any new any new videos or anything that you uh you know you've been working on? Uh, Toppy, living la vida loca. I gotta find somebody else for that. Cause shorty tripping. Um, <laughs> yeah, shorty fucking tripping. Um, I gotta find uh, uh, twerk it out. I gotta find oh, like yeah, at least like cut. Yeah. 30 motherfuckers for that. Yeah, that is crazy. That shit gonna be crazy. Yeah. But, um, you need that ASAP. Yeah, but Toppy's already in the work. That shit should be dropped by next month. And uh, just, uh, yeah, those are only three videos right now. Only three videos right now. That works. Okay. Yeah. All right, now, do, do you see this rap shit as a career? Uh, career, yes. I do see it as a career. But um, I feel like I have. I'm so into so many things, school, you know, side hustles and, you know what I'm saying, cars, type shit, you know what I'm saying? Right. Fixing credit, all types of side hustles. It's just like, I got to really just settle down, you know what I'm saying, and just do the music 100%, you know what I'm saying? Right. Because you can't, even though I was taught never put all your eggs in one basket, sometimes if you're going to do something to make it your career... You got to shoot for the stars, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you have your backup along the way. Yeah. But now I have my backup, so I got to just shoot for the stars. So, yeah, I definitely see that shit as a career. That's a, that's a solid piece of advice that he just gave. And y'all heard it here first on the 42 Does A Lot podcast. He said having that backup plan. And I'm kind of piggybacking off what he just said. Uh, court, sort of like where them dudes where, you know, a football is your way out. And it's like they don't have that backup plan. Right. And then like, they fucking go broke. Exactly. Like three years later, and they're like, "Fuck!" Mm-hmm. And I bought me million dollar mansions and all this dumb shit. And now, three years later, I ain't got no backup plan. I can't fall back. I ain't fucking invest. I just been splurging all that money, thinking I'm gonna keep on getting the check, but that check run out. The well run dry. Yeah. Eventually, the well will run dry. 